The memory of the machine allows you to combine a multitude of decorative stitches and alphabets together in any combination that you want. On this machine, there are eight memories and up to 20 characters per memory you can put in. So if you want to spell happy birthday or do a row of decorative stitches that are going to look fun hooked together, this is how you're going to do it. Start by touching the program button. You'll notice your screen goes empty and with a cursor that's kind of waiting for you to select the stitches. Let's go ahead and select a stitch from row four and stitch number 20 and touch OK. You'll notice the uh, stitch comes in and you can alter it if you wish. You can alter it, make it smaller, larger, or shorter. Your choice. You can see all the changes being made. To add a second stitch, let's add another one also from row four, stitch number 22, and touch OK. Notice how these two stitches kind of hook together so a row of flowers and vines would look kind of fun instead of just a row of vines or a row of flowers. Let's say this is one of your favorite combinations and you want to save it. That's what the My Stitches menu is all about, the heart with the arrow. Touch it one time and you're going to notice you get to a blank screen where you can save to My Stitches. Touch number one to, to save it into that particular memory and then touch the heart again to get out of it. Let's do a second combination, this time with some letters. To get to the letters, touch your stitch menu again, and notice we've always been working with the four rows of stitches. The heart here is how we get to our saved area, and the alphabets here allow us to get to the built-in alphabets of your machine. We'll select the first style. You've got capital letters, if you touch the arrow pointing down here on the side, you get to lowercase letters and also to numbers and other symbols with other languages in the world. Notice at the end of each of the sections, there is what I call lazy staple, kind of upside down, and that would be how we would create a space. So let's go ahead and do, I'll do my name, S-A-R-A. -A. If I make a mistake or add an extra letter, this little part here will delete the highlighted letter. So if I need to delete something in the middle, the arrows will allow you to move around your program to delete or add where you need it. So let's add a decorative stitch at the end. How about stitch number from row two, stitch number 49. I'll add it right at the end. What if we wanted one at the beginning? We can arrow back to the very beginning and select that same stitch, row two, Stitch number 49. Notice that it didn't go in exactly as pretty as the one at the end went in, so we can mirror image it to make it match. We'll touch this mirror image and we'll flip it around. For saving it, once again, my stitches, highlight row number two, and it will show up there. Touch the my stitches menu button to get out of there, and then you can go ahead and delete this all out. Say OK, and you can go ahead and, and do another one. Let's say you are combining, let me get out of uh, program here. We'll just pick a stitch. Touch OK. Delete that out. To get out of program, touch program here, and you get back to the beginning. To retrieve one of those memory combinations we put in, touch the heart and pick your decorative stitch. Now to get out or to remove one of those stitches out of the memory, select a blank one, go into my stitches, and you might say overwrite it with a blank memory. And you'll notice that that will be removed. That is the easiest way to do it. All right, so that is how fun. I've also been known to take decorative stitches that are just my favorite. I always like to go to them and even put those into my stitches. It's kind of having like a quick reference placement for some of those stitches. So one of my favorites is stitch number, go into row two, stitch number 49 and touch OK. And then if I want to save that particular stitch, I could save that as its own little stitch in my stitches. So as I have the machine off or I'm back to just regular sewing, a straight stitch, to quickly go to that stitch, all I have to do is touch the stitch menu, go to my heart, and pick the stitch. Saves you a lot of time. So use that section to kind of keep your favorite stitches at your fingertips.
and have fun with the memory. There are so many things that you can do and program together.